Today was gonna be a plant day, but the weather decided to not work with us. So instead we are spraying for fire blight. It's supposed to be like 80 tomorrow, a couple days of rain. So we're gonna try and cover up today. Uh, unfortunately, that means we're gonna have to wait to plant for another day. Which is what it's gonna be. We're finding a little bit of wind today too. Most of the blocks now are full bloom though. A little bit of pink hanging on yet. I think we got a pretty good crop as long as everything pollinates. You know, it's pretty windy out, so the bees aren't rolling through the orchards like anything crazy, but I see them out working, so I'm pretty optimistic about what 2023 is gonna have for us. Can't really see out this window very well, but it's pretty nice looking. All right, we're on the last tank of the night now. <laughs> a little change of plans. The rain didn't really cause any blight. I looked at the Michigan State's got a Mary Blight thing. Kind of confusing. Uh, I'll show it one of these days. But we didn't really have to worry about blight today. Um, so we're gonna wait till tomorrow morning and we're gonna get some rain. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're gonna run the blight sprays and make sure that like some of these, these Fujis are gonna get rammed. We had some blight in here last year, we cut it all out. But just to be safe, we'll come back in here and cover it up. So we're gonna finish with scab. And then we're gonna go test that planter a little bit and see if we can get that thing dialed in. So either tomorrow or the next day, but we gotta get the rest of these trees planted and hopefully no more breakdowns. All right, after some adjustments, we are getting somewhere. We are level on either side and we got a hill. And All right, so I came out here, did some more adjustments. I don't know why. Um, the planter, for some reason, goes to the right. So if you're on a hill, you have to put the slope to your right. So we were coming here with the left. It was bunching up all on the left-hand side. So I came on this hill. Again, I made some adjustments, redid the tires, brought these down. And now look. That's a really nice pass. I can live with that. We're level on both sides, pretty much to the ground on either side. We got a nice hill in the middle where the trees are gonna go. Yeah, I know it's a little wet. We had some more rain today. But this is progress. I got, I got off track here, but this is progress. This is where I was at before I made some more adjustments. So you can see the hill's grading this way so that that right-hand side was just catching everything right here. Just it wasn't leveling it out it was just pushing it and it was somewhat closing it but not doing well enough coming on this side of the hill we are a thousand times better that is that's perfect it's actually lined up really nice with the middles here it's exactly what i want with the tree going either way i think what we need to do yet is push these blocks out so when I pull this up, it's tight up here, but I need to push these blocks out. Once I get these blocks out, I think we're gonna be in way better shape. So we're getting the blight spray on. You can see all the petals falling around me. So that's kind of good news. Uh, the bees are out today, it's warm. It means we're basically in full bloom. So we're not being in fire blight season too long. Uh, but behind you, it's kind of cool. It's just blooms falling all over the place but just from the wind and then from the wind of the sprayer too. They're falling all over the sprayer. It just looks kind of pretty when they all when you hit a tree and they just all fly off and fall around them. It's just like snow. And again this spray for fire blight is because if these get infected with that bacteria it can actually either kill entire branches or if it gets that bad kill the entire tree. So this is a super important spray to get on on a timely basis. Um, it only covers you 24 hours going forward. Uh, it's a very expensive spray that we hope we don't have to spray maybe more than once or twice.
now we're gonna see if it's all hooked up right. I hope it is, and I hope it works. We have not had good luck with the new equipment this year. Um, we've had to make modifications and redo stuff, but I guess that's part of buying new stuff. It's not always gonna work perfect. Anytime you get some chopped off from a fertilizer company or something, I always pull this gate. There was so much junk on the bottom. It was almost, I had to put a shovel in trying to get it all out. There was water, everything. So whoever had this before, let it sit open. So cleaned out, but now we're ready for some fertilizer. We just need a spreader. And I'm actually give us fertilizer now. So we don't got GPS to plant with for the orchard. So we do stakes and we'll make lines. We'll square it off from previous blocks to make sure the block is squared up. And then we'll mark some rows uh, east to west. And then that'll give us where our north south rows go. It's kind of complicated. It takes a little longer, but we get it done. And dad's way over there. He'll be my, he'll tell me where I need to move some of these stakes left or right.